Hi everyone, Shane R. Monroe here. I was asked to show some gameplay of Assassin's Creed Valhalla as it's running through Steam. Now, I've already been playing for a little while, so shader caches have been built in the area that I've been playing, things like that, um, so you'll have to keep that into consideration. So, uh, there's a Reddit post going on, I'll leave a link in the description below, where I'm logging all of the information I find out about this game, how it plays, uh, all that stuff, settings that I'm using, so that might be your first step. Obviously, Assassin's Creed is still using the Ubisoft uh, Connect client, but as you can see, it flicked right through. And the launch time is about a minute 45. I'm leaving this whole time in here because I like people to be able to see actual time durations. Uh, this does play offline if your Steam Deck is offline or has no internet connection. When it attempts to auto-pass you through Ubisoft, you'll be asked to log in. If you have a connected client to Steam, then you can log in and excuse me, and it will allow you to um, it will allow you to go ahead and play the Ubisoft Connect in offline mode, which then allows you to play this in offline mode. If somebody really would like to see a video of that, I can show you, but. I did test it and it works. Okay, so um, I can't skip any of this stuff, unfortunately. Come on, move along. Yeah, I, I don't know what that's about. It, it only started popping up when I put my Steam in offline mode. So I think there's something wonky going on with that, but it wasn't doing that before. So one of the things that I noticed about Assassin's Creed Valhalla is it downloads all the DLC files, whether you own them or not, making it a whopping 158 gigabyte install. That's crazy because I guess on the PC it's like 60 without the DLC. I haven't gone in to delete the DLC to see if I can get that space back or not, but it's something I'll probably try at some point. My guess is, is that uh, Steam will just re-download them anyway. I'm going to run around a little bit and show you uh, the performance based on the settings that I've currently got myself locked into. It's a custom setting, but I will show you how it looks. Um, typically speaking, I'm seeing between 50 and 60 FPS, which works for me. Um, it might dip into the high 40s from time to time, as you see, but overall, not too bad. For those of you looking to lock down at 4040, I think you would have no problems whatsoever using these settings to lock down to 4040. I did 4040 in medium mode, I believe, medium or low uh, overall graphics settings, and it worked fine, never dipped. Okay, so here we are. This is the beginning of the game. There should be no spoilers going on here. Um, yeah, as you can see, actually, my frame rate's a little bit lower right now. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, it was higher earlier when I was playing. It, it may have to do with outputting to the Elgato. Uh, overall, though, I'm fairly pleased with this setting, and you can most certainly uh, do some more dialing down. But yeah, there we go. I'm starting to get back into the 50s here. I think it just depends on where you're at and what you're doing. Um, but overall... It looks pretty good. And again, you know, you could say, wow, this looks kind of grainy. It doesn't look all that great. But if you're playing it on a seven inch screen, this looks fantastic. All right, so the less dense we get, the higher our frame rate is. I was running around out here in the wilderness earlier. That's probably where I was seeing my numbers. You get into town, so to speak, and there's more stuff going on, more people going on, more things going on. See, the GPU is like totally maxed. CPU is sitting at 50, 60%. And I, I assume my FPS will drop just a little bit being here in town now. All right, so let's take a look at what I got going on here for um, options. Uh, I may actually go back to low. So here's where I'm at now. I'm full screen, 16 by 9, and I'm at 720, right? So you can do... Um, you can do... That's weird. On the... Um, that could be why my frame rate's weird. On the deck itself, you're allowed to go 16 by 10, but now that I'm in the Elgato here recording, I cannot go to 16 by 10. So that could be skewing some of my um, 
my numbers here. As you can see, I'm in custom. I've turned off adaptive quality, low for almost everything, medium for volumetric clouds, because that's as low as it goes, uh, and mostly low, couple of mediums. I didn't want to sacrifice the environmental or uh, character textures. Turn on FSR. Not that it really matters, right? Because I'm not running in a lower resolution than possible. So if I kick over to low, I'll go ahead and do that now that I've got a video record of what I set everything to. Um, you'll also see that you have to uh, restart the game for these to apply. I'm gonna go ahead and restart and I'll clip this out so you don't have to wait and we'll get right back to the action. Okay, so now we are back and uh, we're now in low graphic settings across the board. So let's see if we have a little more love here with uh, frame rate. So I'm back in town again. It, it looks okay. I mean, again, it's going to look better on a little tiny screen. Uh, actually, you know what? I think the other settings were pretty much just as good. I mean, we're sitting in the high 30s, low 40s here in town, which is pretty much where we were before. We've got a little bit uh, better frame rate here with the, uh, some of the environmentals, the fog. Yeah, so there's, there's a minor increase here. I, I won't... Um, I won't say there's nothing. I haven't really been beyond here, so they'll start maybe start building uh, shader caches or something. So we'll stay out of there. We'll stay where I've already been and assume that the caches are built. Um, so now you can see that uh, if we take a look at the options, this is, again, I set the graphics to low across the board. And so everything, depth of field, motion blur, all that stuff is turned off. And this is what we got out of that. Um, for this game. Yeah, overall quite playable. Um, so one of the questions is, if I already own it on Ubisoft, is there any advantage to buying it on Steam? I'd say the advantages are next to nothing. Um, honestly, one of the best things about buying a Steam game is pre-compiled shader caches, which means you're not gonna have to build caches when you go to new areas. And in this case, it is building them on the fly, confirmed and verified and the shader caches are stored with the compat data folder. So those of you who are offloading your shader caches, this will not do you any good whatsoever because it does not use the shader cache folder subsystem. So too bad for you. Uh, not that I would recommend doing that anyway, but a lot of people are doing it because they have a 64 gigabyte Steam Deck and they say they have no choice. So anyway, um, actually this looks pretty good again. I am uh, I'm not discontent at all. I have put um, several hours into the game so far on the Steam Deck itself. And uh, I don't have any problems with combat. I don't have any problems doing raids. Uh, again, for the most part, as long as I stay in the 50s, I feel okay. And most certainly for those of you who are into uh, doing the... I don't think I can flip to 40-40 here, but if you... Uh, I'm, I'm going through the Elgato, and the Elgato will freak out if I go to 40 hertz, but... You can go to 4040 if you want to lock it in, maybe save a little battery life. Um, right now I am on, uh, I'm sorry, I am on the, um, on the mains power here. So you're not going to see the constant draw coming off right now. But you can see the CPU is about 10 watts and the, or, sorry, the CPU is at 2.5 and the uh, GPU is at 10. I was seeing like 21 to 24 watts being pulled in total off the battery while I was playing. So... I'm not sure where the rest of that goes, but uh, yeah, for sure. So it is definitely a hungry game. You're going to have about two hours of game time, I would think. If I unplug it from power, then I will, I'll lose my HDMI out, so I can't do that. But overall, it looks pretty good. Um, yeah, so I, I like the game. I mean, I got to a point in the game playing it before where I was stuck doing nothing but raids and I got very bored very quickly because my character wasn't strong enough to get through this transparent bridge scene. Or maybe I just wasn't good enough, one of the two. Uh, could go either way, right? Um, <laughs> so I kind of got bored of the game and, and deep sixed it. I bought it again on Steam because, well, it was 16 bucks and there was just no way I was going to pass that up in case I wanted to get back to it again. And it's also worth noting that my Steam Deck does have the swap file fix or the resizer and the, um, the four gigabyte VRAM uh, BIOS change. So these changes, those changes are reflected here in this game video. I just wanted to give that as a disclosure because um, people are often saying, how come mine doesn't look like yours? And that could be 
may be why. I try to keep things stock, but I never got around to changing those back. So there you go. Don't you love the snow? It's almost, it's like Red Dead Redemption snow. It looks so good. Okay, so I think that's about it. You've probably seen enough. I'm sorry I don't have other biomes to go to. Normally I'd want to do that for you, but in this case, I, um, I don't have enough, I don't have any save data that can take me outside of this biome, so snow is what you get for this video. And uh, later on, if you want to see anything more, anything else about this, um, by all means, let me know if you want to see combat, if you want to see something in particular, I'm happy to give my YouTube viewers what they want. So if you want to see something, by all means, um, let me know. I'll be happy to shoot a quick ad hoc video for you and uh, answer your questions. But yeah, I'm, I'm overall fairly pleased. Again, is there a recommendation for me to rebuy it on Steam? Dude, it's 16 bucks just to have it, quote, in your Steam library. Hell, it might be worth it. Um, otherwise, no, you're, no, you're not getting the pre-compiled caches. Uh, there's the, the value add there is, is limited. So, all right. Hope you enjoy the video. You know what to do. Like, subscribe, hit the bell, blah, blah, blah. And uh, as always, thanks so much for watching and take care.